Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. Over the last couple of weeks, we've been looking at a lot of over-the-air television tuners, and most of those tuners use infrared remote controls like this one. Now, when I record videos here on the channel, I like to have the product on the table with me, so as I'm recording, I can cut to it and demonstrate things. I don't like to use a lot of B-roll, but with these TV tuners, I haven't been able to do that because my antenna comes in upstairs and I shoot videos down here in the basement. So I wanted to find something that would allow me to use the remote control down here and control the device up there. And I found this little device here that I think is going to accomplish that for me. This is the Bafix Products Wireless Infrared Extender. This is not something new or groundbreaking, but what it does is it takes infrared signals from any remote control and repeats them to the other unit wirelessly. Now I did find some other devices that allow you to do this over ethernet cable, but because I only have a single ethernet cable going up to that room, I would lose all my network connectivity because it's not using IP, it's actually just using the cable. So I wanted something that could operate wirelessly, and so far this is doing the job and it's really easy to set up. So I thought I would do a video about this in case you were not aware of these devices, because I think there's a lot of utility to this, even in shorter range transmissions as well. So we're gonna get into this in just a second, but I do wanna let you know in the interest of full disclosure that I paid for this with my own funds. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. No one is paying for this video, nor is anyone reviewing or approving it before it gets uploaded. So let's get into it now and see what this wireless transmission kit is all about. Now I paid $38.99 for this on Amazon and it consists of two parts here. We have the transmitter, and the receiver. There is nothing to program here. So once you've got this thing powered up and you have the infrared receiver module attached, whatever remote control it picks up, the infrared, it's going to transmit wirelessly to the other unit. And then the other unit will spit out the infrared on one of four of these little transmitter modules. Now you have to stick these to the front of whatever device you are connecting with and of course that device has to be controlled by infrared. So a lot of the TV sticks we've looked at recently, for example, use Bluetooth for their remote controls. This is not gonna work with those, but the TV tuners that I've got upstairs are all infrared. And I'll show you where I'm gonna stick this in a second. And there's four of them because you can control four different devices here with this. And what happens is that each device is looking for a different set of infrared codes. So it'll just blast the same signal out all four, but your device will be looking for a specific coded signal, and when it sees that, it will react to it. And that's it. It is really easy to get this up and running, and it all happens kind of just automatically because it doesn't require any programming. All it's doing is repeating what it is hearing. Now on the receiver module, there's a spot for another uh, IR receiver unit because what you can do is place this one, let's say, down in your basement where you've got a rack of equipment. And what you can do on the other end is maybe you've got some device that's not controlled by the basement equipment. It will repeat locally what it receives from the second receiver that's plugged in here. Not necessary to operate, but they do give you that extra receiver in the box if you want to do that. So pretty flexible here. And let me show you what it looks like in operation. I'm gonna go hook it up upstairs to one of those TV tuners, and we're gonna control it from here in the basement. All right, so I have the receiving unit plugged in upstairs, and as you can see, one of the emitters is stuck to the front of the TV tuner that we're going to operate. Now remember, these devices do not send any video, so I'm using an NDI transmitter box that takes HDMI video and audio out of that TV tuner and puts it out over my network so that I can get the video down here. But as you can see now, I'm using the remote control for the TV tuner that's upstairs and it's working like it's in the room with me here. All the buttons work. I can jump into my settings screen here by hitting my settings button. My back button works. I can tune to a channel here. I can pull up information about the channel. Basically every re remote button gets transmitted and this thing doesn't care what it is, it just all works. So everything is working as I hoped it would. And although I could probably go with some, you know, Internet of Things smart home device to do this, I really want to use the original remote in these videos, and this gives me the ability to do that. Now the range on these, they say, can go from anywhere from 50 to 300 feet. 
and it's really going to vary based on the conditions of your home or wherever you're setting these things up. So if you've got a lot of plaster and stucco, that might impact the range a bit more than my house, which is mostly sheetrock. And I'm probably going, I don't know, maybe about 50 or 75 feet from down here in the basement up to there. And of course, we've got ceilings and walls in the way as well, but it all seems to be working here just fine. Now, you can get multiple kits and install them in your home, but they all operate over the same frequency. So you can't set these up on different channels. They're all gonna send out their signal to everything. So if you have devices that use the same remotes in different parts of the house, this is probably not a good solution. But for my problem here, this works out great. And as you can see here, it is giving me full control over my remote control. And now I can make my videos in a way that I want to make them without having to rely on a lot of B-roll first. So this is definitely solving my problem here. And I love little things like this that solve a problem in a very simple way. And I don't have to program this. I just have to plug it in and get going. So good stuff. And I am looking forward to the next receiver I get because it's going to be a lot easier to review them now with this thing down here with me. That's going to do it for this one. Until next time, this is Lon Sivan. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Brian Parker, Budley, Hot Sauce and Video Games, Steve Green, and Amda Brown. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.